Hi all, welcome to Go classes. Should you appear for both Gate Computer Science and Gate DA? This is what I want to discuss in this session. But before we discuss, let me share with you one important news that is regarding Gate 2024 application form. The regular application deadline has already passed. If you have already applied for Gate 24, then you don't have to worry. But if you did not apply, Okay, so far, if you did not apply for gate 24, then you can still apply with a late fee of 500. Okay, and this extension is only till 20th October only. So this is a very important announcement from the gate 2024 committee. You can see the regular application deadline has already over, but you can still apply with a late fee of 500 rupees. And this extension you have only till October 20. So do not delay. If you did not apply so far, then please do not delay and apply for GATE 2024 today. Okay, do not make any delay. Now, if you have already applied for GATE 2024 in one paper and you want to add another paper, that you can do without any late fee. See, if you have already applied for GATE 2024 and you want to add a new paper, for example, let's assume you have already applied in GATE Computer Science but you want to add gate DA also that you can do without any late fee. Okay, so that you can do without any late fee till 20 October. So you can see here, you can continue to add a new paper at the regular fee without any late fee, you can continue to add a new paper before 20th October. Okay, so you can see. So this is an important announcement. If you want to add a new paper, you can do that. Now, this is a very common question from students that should I appear for both GATE Computer Science and GATE DA? So this is my suggestion that you should. You should appear for both of them. If you have, if you have already applied for GATE Computer Science, then you can add GATE DA as your second paper. And if you have applied for GATE DA as your first paper, then you can add Computer Science as your second paper. What is the reason? Let me tell you. The reason is a lot of syllabus is common. GATE Computer Science, GATE DA, there is a lot of syllabus that is common between these two. So you can see this is the syllabus that is common, common syllabus of GATE Computer Science and GATE DA, that is aptitude, that is your 15 marks, 15 marks aptitude. Other than that, you can see probability, linear algebra, states, calculus, algorithm, data structure, database management, logic, propositional logic, predicate logic. So you can see a lot of syllabus is common. This is common syllabus for GATE Computer Science and GATE DA. You can see aptitude, that is your 15 marks. Aptitude is 15 marks. Logic, propositional logic, predicate logic. This is part of AI. This is part of artificial intelligence course. So you can see from here you can expect maybe two marks. Okay, two marks. Database management, maybe seven to eight marks can come from database management. Algorithm data structure, maybe seven to eight marks you can, you can expect. Okay, next. Calculus, probability, statistics. So from these topics, maybe from calculus, maybe two, two to three marks you can expect maybe. Okay. And you can see probability, linear algebra, stats. So from here, maybe you can expect maybe five to eight marks. So if you calculate, then almost 40 marks you can get. Almost 40 marks is common. So you can see. Okay. This is the common syllabus of GATE Computer Science and GATE DA. Almost 40 marks is common between these two. So remember, if you do not prepare for GATE DA, still you can get almost 40 marks you can get in GATE DA. Okay, if you are preparing for GATE Computer Science, okay, then you can get 40 marks in GATE DA also. Similarly, if you if you are preparing for GATE DA, then you can get almost 40 marks you can get in GATE Computer Science. Okay, so this is the benefit. See, I am not telling you to prepare for both these exams. I am not telling you. Okay, do not prepare for both of them. Prepare for one of them. Okay, either you prepare for GATE Computer Science or you prepare for GATE DA. Do not prepare for both of them. Okay, if you prepare for both of them, then you will ruin both of them. Okay, so this is what I am suggesting that you prepare for one of them. If you are already preparing for GATE Computer Science, keep preparing. Okay, but you can appear for GATE DA also. You don't have to spend any time in this preparation. Okay, so if you are preparing for GATE Computer Science, then you can appear for this paper also. Similarly, if you are up, if you are preparing for GATE DA, then you can appear for GATE Computer Science also. Without any dedicated preparation, you are getting 
40 marks you are getting in another paper. So this is the benefit. Okay. So remember one thing. If you are preparing for gate computer science, then keep preparing for gate computer science. Okay. But you can add gate DA as your second paper. And if you are preparing for gate DA, then keep preparing for gate DA, but you can add gate computer science as your second paper. So that is a benefit. Without any dedicated preparation, you are getting 40 marks in another paper. So that is a benefit. Okay. So I hope this session was helpful to you. Please share this session with all the students who might find this helpful. Okay. Remember 20th October, that is a, that is the final deadline. Okay.